Recent update 2.6 for Affinity Apps brings some long-awaited features but also did not address many of the missing features. And I already start getting those comments, people asking about stuff they've been missing for a while now. Is this available already? So let's address all of that here in one single video. As you may remember, I actually keep a track of all of those big changes in this changelog we made on version 2.0. So let's very quickly start with Affinity Designer. All right, 2.0 was the huge one with Shape Builder and all of that thing. Then we got important features like a uh, missing flat field tool in 2.1. And as you may notice here, we got less and less and less. We got some important stuff in version 2.4. But in the recent update 2.6, we got leftovers. Definitely 2.6 was not focused around Affinity Designer, so we only get a better control with the pencil. Now we can auto close shapes and pencil is a bit better. All right, so as you may see, not much for Affinity Designer. So all of those tools that we listed up last time are still missing. So no auto trace. You cannot auto trace the bitmaps. No auto blend between vector shapes. No mesh gradients. No real vector brush. And hold on a second before you comment Mark, there's a vector brush here on the tool list. Yes, they name it vector brush to confuse people. It's not a vector brush, okay? It's a raster brush stretch on the vector path. I guess that name was a bit too long, huh? Okay, so no real vector brush and no right to left script support. That's why Core Draw is still strong in some countries because they missed this huge opportunity to take market from the Core Draw. All right, so that's what it is for Affinity Designer. Is it better for Affinity Photo? All right, so Affinity Photo actually was like other way around. Version 2.0 was not that much impressive and they keep adding small changes and this update 2.6 was the biggest thing we get so far in my opinion. Look, it's nothing in 2.4, nothing in 2.5. So in 2.6, they finally ad address a big problem. There's no machine learning, auto selection, object selection. Now it is. So right now we can install machine learning and get the auto selection. So that's a great improvement. More cameras are supported and also raw layers can work with different filters and effects. Finally, we don't need to rasterize them. And they put like over, over the board UX improvements all around the software. All right, so you can see this was probably the main focus of patch 2.6 Affinity Photo to put it back to the standard because it was kind of left behind. People started start moving out to like Pixamator or Lumina Neo and stuff like that. So they kind of tried to bump it back to the speed with the modern software. And what is still missing, AI replace is not here. So we cannot AI generate a new backdrops. We cannot AI remove stuff. Okay, there are still some filters missing that people have been asking for since version one. Bath editing is, is not ideal as well for like photographers, professionals. So there's still room for improvement. And by the way, this is the least used software by me right now. So feel free to add in the comment section, what should I put here? Because in this update 2.6, I removed two things. So I remove auto backdrop removal. Okay, that's now covered with this. Okay, and I also remove from missing features, I remove the AI selection. So we kind of hit two points on the missing list. So we got some new room here for missing features. So feel free to suggest something we can put here. All right, so definitely a win for Affinity Photo. We get rid of two things from the missing list this time. How about publisher? In case of publisher version 2.0 was the first one that get released on iPad as well. And then we actually got some decent updates like text variables. We got also a password protected PDFs, all of those like small stuff that was still missing. They keep adding that update by update. The last one was pretty small, only variable fonts really. But they kind of make up this time adding multi-page spreads. That's a big, big change in the software, how software can be used. And also with that, they give us more refro control. So we cannot, you don't need to like restart your documents from scratch. You can kind of reflow your pages and have more control on that. All right. So all of the good changes are here. So program is better and better with each iteration. And 
You cannot get many alternative software to Affinity Publisher, really. What do you got? InDesign, and then you got those semi-casual programs like Canva and stuff like that. So I think it's worth investing. I hope they will not kill this software because it's a niche inside the niche, you could say. But there's some most important features still missing. Like we got this EPUB export still missing. We've been asking for this since version 1. And right to left scripts missing in the desktop publishing software. Are they serious about that? PDF forms, so forms that people can fill in. So we can generate like PDF that people can type in it. That's missing. And we got all those scripting parts missing. Better PDF exports. We talk about to be more consistent. So sometimes you got some problems and errors with that. So they should just like back fix that. And captions, all right, so that's our missing features list for publisher. I did not take anything away from that. All of that is still missing in version 2.6, unfortunately. In case of Affinity Photo, we took two things away. So auto backdrop removal, I took that away. And also auto selection with AI, I took that away. Okay, so they managed to address two missing features in this update. And in Affinity Designer, they did not address anything. Everything is still here. Everything is still missing. All right. So that's what it is. I hope this video was helpful. Now you know what they add and what is still missing in the recent version of Affinity Apps. See you in the next one.